hi guys uh, in this video we will be talking about the vocabulary words of the new lesson alaska a special place this is unit four week one this video is for wednesday march 18th 2020 but first we're going to watch a video about places and how they are different different places what makes different parts of the world different The world has many different regions. Plants and tall trees grow well in this forest's mild climate. These hikers are enjoying the region's beauty. You won't find many hikers here in the desert, though. Only a few animals and plants are able to survive the hot, dry conditions of this region. Antarctica is another place you won't find many people. The extremely cold temperatures make it hard for anything to survive here, even plants. The only people you'll find in Antarctica are scientists. Scientists brave the cold to study the climate of this extreme region. First of all, this lesson, the genre of this lesson is expository text. It means that it will provide us with information and facts, and it will uh, support these facts with pictures and text features. Text features like the map you see over here. This one here is called a map. This is a map of Alaska. Uh, this one here, it shows us the, the directions. This is the north. This is the east south and west now this one here is alaska as you can see a star this is the key of the map a star means this is the capital so this is the capital of alaska um, these blue lines means these are the rivers so alaska has two rivers as you can see uh, this one here is mountains look there's um, a range of mountains over here and over here and the last one is for volcanoes look at the volcanoes so alaska has many volcanoes okay so let's just start reading the lesson while we're reading we need to focus on the essential question which is what makes different parts of the world different what are what when while reading you will notice that alaska is different from lebanon in in land features in animals in temperature and also in the seasons let's read to find out where can you find mountains, glaciers, glaciers, and volcanoes? This is a question. They started the lesson by a question. Alaska is the location you would visit. So location means a place. This is one of the vocabulary words that we have discussed earlier. Alaska has different regions. Regions means wide areas. In each part of the state, there are different features. So even in Alaska, as a country, there are many regions with different features. Let's read to find out how. This one here is called a subtitle. Okay, it, like this is the biggest title, Alaska, a special place. And this one here is a subtitle. What are the land features? For example, the tallest mountain in the united states is in alaska so now we know that alaska is a state in united states it is called mount mckinley this is the name of the mountain M mount this one mt is an abbreviation for a word mountain some people go to alaska just to climb it so they just like to go to alaska so they can climb uh, Mount McKinley. Alaska also has the biggest glaciers in all of the United States. Glaciers are made when one layer of snow falls on top of another. The snowfall becomes very thick. It turns to ice. The growth of a glacier takes many years to form. So here in this uh, page I can ask you for example 
um, does it take a few years or many years for a glacier to form? It depends on, on your understanding of the lesson. If you cannot answer this question, you have to read this page again. Moving on. Now, this one here is about temperature changes. How do temperature changes in Alaska? Alaska has different temperatures. A temperature can be hot, for example, or cold. What do you think? Alaska is look at the ice over here. So do you think Alaska is hot the temperature is it hot or cold? Northern Alaska is called the Arctic region The temperatures are much colder than inside your freezer So it's not only cold. It's way cold. It's colder than inside your freezer for that the ground lakes and rivers are almost always frozen so if i asked you here why are the ground and lakes and rivers frozen in alaska you can say because the temperatures are much colder than inside the freezer as a result most people live in the south of alaska it is warmer there and crops grow well in the rich soil there you know parts parts of a country uh, like uh, people would rather live in a place where it is warm because they can grow crops they can plant the lands over there and in south of alaska the the land is the soil is rich and the crops can grow well why do people need to grow crops because they need to eat they they plant the the trees the vegetables and fruits because they need them these are these are the food for the people next subtitle we will be talking about animals alaska has many different animals you may spot a walrus or polar bear among the glaciers you can see a black or brown bear fishing in a river or stream. In another region, you can see a moose or caribou. Moving on, so here I can ask you, for example, like give me the or list some of the animals that live in Alaska. Daylight and darkness. This is the last subtitle or the last thing we're going to read about Alaska. The daylight and darkness. How is it during the day and how is it during the night when it is dark? The seasons are special here too. Here they mean in Alaska, not here in Lebanon. In summer, people celebrate the mild temperate weather. So it means that in summer, it's not too hot because if you remember the meaning of the word temperate, it means not too hot, not too cold. It's like spring weather. Okay. So in summer, their summer differs from ours. Their summer is, much, is a little bit colder than ours. These lively people also celebrate the sunlight. So when, when the sun is up, they started celebrating. Why? Because the sun does not set for many days. So during summer, the sun will stay up in the sky for many days. It's not like in our country where the sun sets every day, right? For example, in one village, the sun doesn't set for more than 80 days. It's, it's like two months and a half. Imagine the sun never sets down here in Lebanon, for example, for two months and a half. It means that, that there will be no night. So there you might be in bed and still see the sun shining. So this is a good place for those who do not like the dark. In winter, the sun doesn't rise in some places in Alaska. So in some places during winter, the sun doesn't rise. It means there's no morning. It's always night. 
These places have more than 60 days of winter darkness. 60 days for two months, they stay in complete darkness. There's no sun. They do not see the sun. You could have afternoon soccer practice in the dark. You might think this would be eerie, means scary, spooky, but Alaskans don't think this is weird. Why is that? Why, th why they don't think that this is weird? Because they are used to the dark winter days. Alaska is a very interesting place to live. So this was our lesson. You can find it in your books. Um, try reading it more than once, three times at least, okay, and try to understand it very well. Moving on. So now here, this is, um, I, we, I will solve some of the questions in the bi-weekly. Circle the right answer, you can refer back to page 263. But if you were following, you, you may be able to answer these questions, for example, Alaska has blank. Is it A, mountains only, B, volcanoes only, or C, mountains, glaciers, and volcanoes? Well, the answer is obvious and it's easy. It has the three of them. So the answer is C. Number two, the tallest mountain in the United States is in the tallest mountain. Where is the tallest mountain? Is it in a place called McKinley? Alaska or Lebanon? Remember, we are talking about the tallest mountain in the United States. So it's not in McKinley because McKinley is the name of the mountain. It's not in Lebanon because Lebanon is not in the United States. So the answer is Alaska. So it should be Alaska here. How is the temperature in the northern Alaska? Now here we're going to answer these questions by giving complete answers. How is the temperature in the northern Alaska? You can refer to page 264 to find the answer. How is the temperature in the northern Alaska? If you remember that in the north it was too cold. In, in fact, it is colder than inside your freezer. And this is the answer. The temperature is colder than inside the freezer. Number two, why do people live in the south of Alaska? So because the north is too cold, people prefer to live in the south. But why? It, because it is warm, excellent, but there's also another reason. It's about their food, right? Because they need to eat, they need to plant. So the answer would be people live in the south of Alaska because it is warmer there and because the crops grow well in the rich soil there. Number three, list four animals that live in Alaska. This one is so easy. You go to page 264 under the subtitle animals and you can find the answer. We have polar bear, walrus, moose and caribou. Now, and our comprehension skill is about compare and contrast. In compare and contrast, there are, this is called a Venn diagram. Here we will write what is different between Alaska and Lebanon, for example, because this is where we live. And in the one here, in this one here, we will write what do they both have in common. So in this circle and this circle, we will write about how Alaska and Lebanon different. So here I will give it a title Alaska and here I will give it the title Lebanon and in the middle it will be both. So how is the weather in, uh, in Alaska uh, or how is Alaska different than Lebanon? There are many differences, okay, but we're just going to talk about winter, for example. We know that in Alaska, the, in some places, they have more than 60 days of, of darkness. And we don't have such thing in Lebanon because in Lebanon we have the night time is longer than the daytime. That's it. In a few hours. That's why during winter it's the night is is longer than the day. But both they ha they share one thing is that in both countries we still have winter season. That was our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. 
please watch it and read your lesson and see you soon.